you will remain our friends as well as friends of Chase and Sanborn. Oh, I did it. I did it, doggone. I did it. I Charlie, did it. Charlie, what did you do, doggone? I'm guilty, I swear. I, I'm guilty. I clipped and so help me. I'm more than that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now, Charlie. Why are you guilty and who did you clip? Those three, those three guys I met on the way to the show because of what they said to me. Yeah, well, what, what did they say to you? Yes, they did. What they said, they said, is it hot enough for you? Thank you. So I let them have it, both barrels. Oh, it's gruesome. Oh, it's gruesome, huh? Yeah, well, you were right, Charlie. You were right. And I knew we could count on you to break the heat wave in your inimitable way. Miss Reddy, let me be the first to congratulate you on the wedding of Miss Duck. You liked it, Charlie? It was ducky. Mm -hmm. I'm sure all the little goslings will be quacky about the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, Charlie. You know, I always say... Uh, yes, Mr. Bergen? How's your schoolwork getting along? Uh, my what work? Your schoolwork. School? School. Oh, oh, yes, 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 school, yes. School has been open for the last two weeks, hasn't it? I guess it must be, yes, yes. <laughs> because on Tuesday, the principal gave a lecture about playing hooky. Oh, he did? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did he say about it? Well, he wasn't in favor of it. Oh, he wasn't. <laughs> And he looked right at me and he said, uh, if the shoe fits, put it on, see? Yes. Then I guess he did mean you. I don't think he could have because I had my shoes on. Oh, I see. <laughs> but really, Charlie, isn't it kind of nice being back in school again? Yeah. Yes, it is. I, I enjoyed shaking hands with all the old familiar faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just get in, stinky, and say my new history teacher ain't half bad either. No, you mean uh, Miss Grace. Oh, yeah, I guess you know her, don't you? Uh, yes, uh, yes, she is nice, isn't she? Yes. Yes, uh, did she tell you that we met at the parent-teacher's meeting? Oh, uh, yes, she did, yes. Yes, and she talked about you, too. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh, what did she say about me? Well, she said, yes, yeah, kind of anxious, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, well, what did she say? Well, she said, she said, yes, uh, she said, yes, 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 all right, all right. Now, don't blame me, but you know, no, I know. <laughs> now, mind you, Bergen, these are not my words, you know, no. I'm only quoting. Yes, I know. What did she say? Uh, you sure you can take it? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Well, what did she say? Come out with it. Yes, it's all right. Uh, I don't think I ought to tell you. Oh, now, come on, huh? Well, I don't want to hurt you, you know. No. I know how sensitive you are. Well, I know. Well, what did she say? Uh, well, uh, oh, I don't think I did. Oh, no. Oh, no. Charlie. You, you, you. Charlie, they go to laugh a lot. <laughs> I'll tell you, Charlie. Uh, you tell me what you say, what she said about me, and I'll tell you what she said about you. Yeah, well, you tell me first. All right. Well, I talked to her about you. Uh huh. As a student. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, uh, she said that you had a lot to learn. A lot to learn. Yeah. Uh huh. Now that's a funny coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> she said the same thing about you. <laughs> And you're no student, are you? No, I know, I know. <laughs> you know, I talked to Miss Kaushofer, too. Oh, yeah, you mean Pickle Puss. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and she complained that the honor system wasn't working out. Well, it's her own fault, the old buzzard. <laughs> Charlie? Yes? I would rather have you fail in schoolwork than cheat. You'd rather have me fail than cheat? That's right. Uh-huh, you would. Yes, I would. Uh-huh. Well, if that's what you want... I can guarantee your results. Yeah. <laughs> but, Charlie, why is it necessary to cheat in the first place? Why is it? Yes. Because she gave us an impossible question in the second place. It is. Yeah. Yes. I think you exaggerate. Exaggerate? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> why, when I looked for the answer in the back of the book, it said, we don't know either. Oh, <laughs> Well, that's ridiculous. You think that's ridiculous? When you hear the question, you... Well, what was it? Well, the question was, if, uh... It was, it just can't. There's no answer to it. Or, it was something like, if A takes a boat, yeah. how long will it take B to get there? Oh, that's impossible. Oh, <laughs> uh, there must be something more to it than that. Well, all right. I got it here in my pocket. Read it yourself. Go ahead, read it. Go ahead. All right, I will. Yes. Oh, yes, here it is. Yes. Well, let's see. Well, it says here, uh... Two men take different boats to the same destination. You see? Here. That's even worse than I gave it to you. Here. 
Mr. A's boat goes 400 miles a day. Uh huh. Mr. B's boat only goes 200 miles a day. Yeah. If it takes A three days to reach his destination, uh huh. How long will it take B? See. <laughs> Well, ain't that silly? Silly, yeah, well, no. I think that's a perfectly logical question. Now, what bothered you? Well, the answer, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, uh, what more do you need to know in order to arrive at that answer? Well, for example, I don't even know what A's name is. Oh, I see. What's A's name? Well, they don't tell us that. No, that's the trouble, you see. No. Maybe he's, uh, maybe, well, they just don't have to give his name. Oh, they don't give his No. <laughs> Well, go ahead, tell it. It's <laughs> <laughs> like incognito. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, you see, being up there at all. No, that's right. <laughs> now, what's the name of the boat? Well, now, that's immaterial. SS immaterial? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the boat's going incognito, too. Yes, that's right. Now, where's it going? Well, they don't tell us that either. That's it. They don't tell us that. They don't tell us this. They don't tell us nothing. Oh, yes, they do. If they don't tell us the name of the boat or the names of the men or where the boat's going, the least they could do is tell us the answer. <laughs> well, if they did that, there'd be no problem. Well, that's okay with me. <laughs> I still say, why don't they tell us where the boat's going? That's all I ask. That's all I ask. All right, if it will help you any, Charlie, let's say that the boat is going to Cuba. Kilda, yes. I've been to Kilda. Mm. <laughs> Let's say it's going to Africa. All right, then. It's going to Africa. Good. Now, we're getting someplace. I think it would be easier if I knew their real names, too, instead of A and B. See, that's what throws me. Oh, that throws me. Yes. <laughs> All right, then we'll call one Tom and the other Dick. All right. Yeah. Now, what about Harry? Well, <laughs> well, he's not in the problem. Oh, he missed the boat, huh? Yeah, he missed the boat. <laughs> Poor Harry. He so enjoys ocean travel, too. <laughs> now, don't you see, Charlie? No, I don't. No. A is to four. Yeah. As B is to two. Uh-huh. Now, let's use X as a symbol. A what? X. As a what? As a symbol. Oh. Who's X? A stowaway? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. X represents the number of days it takes B's boat to get to the destination. Now, what is X? Huh? What is X? What is X? Yeah. You mean how much are eggs? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Well, I will leave X out. Yeah, X it out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, it takes A three days. Uh-huh. How long will it take B? All right, you want me to figure it out? Yes. All right, SC, three days, huh? Yes. SC, yes, three days, yes, 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 400 miles a day, 200 miles a day. <laughs> quiet, please, quiet. Yes, <laughs> A times 400 and um, carry Harry and um, <laughs> comes out 30 boats of sand. Well, Charlie? Um, Charlie? Huh? Where are you? I'm still at sea. You still at sea? Yes. <laughs> uh, C, B times A, 321 days and carry 49 so it's great for fall. Well? Well, I'm afraid scurvy will set in before I get the answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid <laughs> Charles McCarthy presents himself in, in a play presented by special permission of... Nobody, nobody special. I beat him that time. In a little dramatic playlet of the Parisian art colony entitled The Latin Quarter or Who's Got Change for Two Bits. <laughs> From the stereoptic and slide of the same name, paint a horrible scene, Bannon. As our scene opens, Charlie McCarthy, a rising young artist... Artiste. Please. Oh, yes, artiste is yes, busily at work in his studio. His wife, Madeline... Madeline. Oh, Madeline, Better. played by Anita Louise, enters. Curtain? Curtain. Oh, <laughs> oh Pierre, my pear. Yeah, yes, my grapefruit. <laughs> Are you almost through painting, dear? Just a few more strokes of the brush. Ah, uh, ah, uh, there. That does it. Oh, it's a work of art. Hmm. Pierre, you are a genius. Ah, uh, my petite cabbage head, yes. As soon as I get some more calcium, I'll do the kitchen. 
Which one of us shall answer the phone, dear? Uh, you better, Pierre. After all, it's a French phone, and you're the only one who speaks it. Oh, that's right, dear. Hello? Oui? Oui? Oui, oui? Très, très. Père du... Hello? Yeah. Uh, who was it, Pierre? I have good news. It's a commission for a painting. Oh, I'm so happy. Who from? Uh, Monsieur Chase and a Monsieur Sanborn. They want me to paint a date on a package. <laughs> oh, Pierre, I think you have the makings of another goatee. You mean Van Dyke, dear? <laughs> oh, uh, well, anyway, what did Van Dyke have that you haven't got? Room rent for one thing. <laughs> goatee for another. Nah. Oh. Hello? What's the meaning of this? I wish a conversation with you. Well, why didn't you come through the door? Ah, monsieur, I'm a French man. I come in through the French windows. <laughs> that sounds logical. Hmm. Now, what do you want? Ah, my friend, I have good news for you. I have come to share your apartment with you, but I have no intention of paying you rent for it. Well, that's nice. That saves me the embarrassment of asking for it, doesn't it? You see, monsieur, I am, as they say in America, behind the seven ball. Uh-huh. <laughs> you mean the eight ball? No, no, no. I cannot afford that. I see. <laughs> well, I will give you this painting of mine, this piece of master. Yes, yes. Uh, what is it? It is a genuine crisis of France. My, my. <laughs> Rackety Rex and Dinky Die. What's the name of it? It is Whistler's Mother-in-Law. <laughs> the entire canvas she was done with a pellet knife I thought you sat on it before it was dry <laughs> Hello, 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 hello <clears throat> And all that sort of thing <clears throat> Who are you, officer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of moving into your apartment uh, So let me introduce myself I am Armand Arm Brewster uh, how utterly utter. We'll both live in the gutter. Oh, are you a poet too? No, I star at painting. So you're a poet, eh? Oh, deucedly so. Yes. Would you care to hear one of my effusions? Would I? <laughs> no, but go ahead. This one is entitled To My Canine. <clears throat> canine is a dog. You know. Yes, I know, you canine poet. <laughs> My dog is the best friend a man ever had. Uh-huh. He's sweet when he's good. He's cute when he's bad. <laughs> As I watch him lie upon my rug, I know that I love him, Ronald, my dog, like it. <laughs> like it? Get out of here. I have another entitled the Tempus Fugits, shall I? You mean go? No, recite. All right. Bong, bong, bong. And bong, bong, bong. Six o'clock, like it. Well, it's timely. And now, and now, shut up and get out of here. Traffic's heavy here tonight, isn't it? I want to see Pierre McCarthy, the artist. You're speaking to the master himself. Oh, are you the squirt? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I heard you was looking for a model. Yeah, I am. Have you ever posed before? Yeah, a lot of times. Gee, that's good, isn't it? You're the prettiest model I've ever had. Oh, thanks. Who else have you had? Well, yesterday I had an old flower pot and a fresh tomato. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, you're quite an improvement. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. Now, report tomorrow, and we'll do a full-length profile. <laughs> So, uh, a white neck would be awfully nice and in order. I get it. I'll wash. Okay. Well, so long. See you tomorrow. <laughs> what a dope. She's pretty, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me, but which side of my neck are you going to use? Uh, the left side. Thanks. I didn't want to wash the wrong side. <laughs> Sorry, pal. The joint's full. <laughs> Can't keep them out of here, huh? Uh, you're McCarthy, the painter, I presume? You certainly do. My name is Niven. Niven? Say, you look like Niven, the art connoisseur. 
Any relation to Niven, the art connoisseur? I am Niven, the art connoisseur. That's funny. I could swear there was a resemblance. Well, that's just one of those things you can't explain. Yeah. I would uh, like to look at some of your canvases. Oh, yes, yes. Something in a medium-priced pop tent? <laughs> no, I mean your paintings. Oh, you support, of course, painting, yes. Well, now, there's one over there that I haven't been able to sell for years. <laughs> Hey, that's an excellent canvas. Yes, it is, really. It's a still life, you know. Still life, yes. Haven't been able to move it. <laughs> I call it uh, Pickles at Rest. <laughs> an amazing likeness. What color? What flavor, yes. So lifelike. Yes, they almost make you pucker, don't they? <laughs> Certainly look like live pickles. Yeah. What did you use for color? Burnt umber or raw umber? No, cuke umber. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I could be interested in the purchase of that one there. What do you call it? Oh, that's it. Uh, that one. Uh, that's a gem. That's a gem, really. That's Paul Revere's Midnight Ride. But, my dear sir, you have him riding a bicycle. Yes, I know. You see, I can't paint horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how quaint, how quaint. Yeah, Tell me, yeah. uh, have you done anything in the cubistic or the surrealistic? Yes, I have a horrible thing over there. I call it a uh, couch reclining on a man. <laughs> Couch reclining on a man? Yes. Inspired by the painting, uh, Bath Taking a Woman. Okay, let us hear. Long so. Long so. 